how did it feel to be back together and back out there playing again? It's good. Uh, you know, I think we we're all a little, not worried, but just like we felt like we had a really good rhythm going before the break. And uh, so you want to come back and try to keep that going, just kind of what we talked about. And, um, you know, started off maybe not quite what we wanted to, but I thought we got into a great groove in the second quarter and, and uh, was able to carry through again. Even though you guys could add some other pieces in the buyout market, is there a sense of relief, a sense of excitement knowing that this is basically your squad for the rest of the year? These are the guys that you're going to be rolling with? Yeah, and I think uh, we feel like we have a really versatile team. So a lot of a lot of pieces that you know, Ty is going to be able to game plan with. You know, it's all about the playoffs and matchups, and we understand that. And we have a veteran team that um, we know what this is all about. And uh, but it, it is good to, to know that this is our group, and uh, you know we can just keep on trying to get better. Now we're not going to worry about. You know, we'll see what happens in the next couple of days. And add another piece or two, but you know we can just focus on. Hey, this is our group, and let's let's be excellent. When you come back from the break, is there a sense of less than two months left in the regular season, time to zero in and, and get ready for what lays ahead? I mean, is this the time you want to start um, peaking? And I think so. You, know, you, you definitely don't want to peak before the All Star break. <laughs> you know, so I, I think. Uh, I mean, guys have talked about it since I came here that, you know, kind of after the break is when we're able to really lock in and really, you know, because these guys have played you know, long seasons for a lot of years in a row. It's, it's a, the NBA season is a grind. It's hard to play, you know, at a, at a, at a 10 the whole season. You know, I felt like when I first came on, we were kind of feeling that all out, you know, kind of in those probably lower moments. But uh, I thought we picked it up before the break started, and, and I think we're going to keep on going. You've talked a little bit about that big lineup that you guys used to start the second quarter. It's been one of the most productive lineups the Gaps have had this year. Could you envision that kind of unit working so well when it was first assembled? I mean, uh, a lot of things in your mind, you feel like, hey, that'd be amazing. Or you see it on paper and like, how do you stop this? But until you get out there on the court, you don't really know. Um, I think it's been a great group for us. Um, a lot of versatility, obviously. Um, you know, Derek has been a great addition. Just he's brought so many things, so much size, athleticism, switching on defense. Um, and he was the number two pick in the draft for a reason. He's got a ton of skill, a ton of talent. So, um, but it just, you know, uh, kind of feels like the other team has to pick and choose a little bit, you know, what they want to take away. But something, you know, feels like something probably going to be there a lot of the time. So. Um, yeah, I think we're going to keep on tinkering with it and keep on experimenting with it and keep on trying to get better. And uh, I'm sure that'll be uh, a lineup that we'll want to look at in the playoffs. How long have you personally been involved with the end of it? I've been with it for three or four years now. Um, so this red X that I've been wearing, I guess my clothes too, went all out today. Uh, one day a year, um, it's literally thousands of people across the world. Uh, letting people know that there's over 27 million slaves in the world today. Um, it looks a little differently than what you know, we thought before. It's human trafficking, um, just you know, uh, unfair wages you know, across the world. So it looks a little differently, but 27 million people live like this, and they don't have a voice. And so there's, you know, this is a campaign. I think it's the fifth year. Uh, everyone putting on a red X and um, posting it on on social media. Uh, just raising awareness, there's, there's a bill in Congress right now that's about to go through to raise a bunch of money. Uh, for, it's a lot of people fighting this, this fight. And, um, so just trying to, I mean, when people hear that number, they're like, man, are you serious? I didn't know about that. And so that's, that's, that's what these Red X's are all about. Now comes LeBron, blows past Bledsoe, goes all the way and hammers it home. Off the corner, he's open, three on the way, he knocks it down. Cousins in on Thompson, down the left alley. Oh, Thompson blocked the shot! What a rejection by Tristan Thompson! Out comes Irving in a hurry to the foul line. Right around him. Brady lays it up and in. 